So here is the diagram, first we look at the rib articulation. So look at this here, this is a vertebra and this is where the rib articulates and rib articulates here. Here is a rib attached to the vertebra, see the head is here and then the, the rest of the rib is here. This is another view of the rib, if you see here, this is the back side of the rib, inferior view of the rib. So, here is the articulation, here is the articulation, the tubercle and then the, this red line is for the attachment of the external intercostals. We are looking at the inferior surface of the rib. This red line, inner red line is for the internal intercostal, between these two is the costal groove. So, this is the rib, again this is another diagram of the rib, here is the uh, the ribs head and this is the tubercle and see it slants downwards and, and forwards. Let us look at the accessory muscles for forced inspiration, here is all of them. What you would see is that this is the sternocleidomastoid, sternocleidomastoid here, scale in eye muscles here, this is the serratus interior, of course in extern, uh, external intercostals we have already talked about. So, these are accessory muscles of inspiration. Let us look at those a little bit more in detail. So, I have removed the jaw and the teeth from this funny diagram now. So, this is the sternocleidomastoid. This would lift the sternum up and anchor it, so it is not pulled down by the muscular movement and the sternum continues to move in a bucket handle movement. Then here is the scalenae. So, if you see here, these are scalenae, they are attached to the first and second rib and they anchor them and they fix them so that the chest, when the external intercostals move, uh, contract, they move the ribs up instead of pulling them down. Then this is the serratus interior. If you see here, serratus interior is going to help move the ribs up as well. So, these are all the muscles of forced inspiration. Okay. Now, let us see muscles for the forced expiration, expiration. So, this is the rectus abdominis, the six pack muscle. So, both of the rectus abdomini or recti together are responsible for the forced expiration. However, in case of cuffing, we may have the, this is the internal oblique, this is external oblique, we, we may have obliques as well that would help. So, thank you very much.